Good morning. This is Robert Forsh with the YouTube channel Truth, and I will uh, be showing you the sun appearing here. And earlier this morning, I shot a video of the dark side of the moon, supposedly. I'll probably put a question mark on that. And I've got a photo of it showing that the moon was fully illuminated. I'm sure they didn't uh, leave a rover on the other side of what we continually see. So I'm exposing the moon landing hoax for what it is. <laughs> a dad and a son here. How precious. Uh, we're going to have high tide at uh, just a couple minutes after or before sunrise. The sun will appear over the uh, stationary level Earth. Keep in mind there would be no level anywhere on a moving, spinning, wobbling water sphere. And that's the, the truth about all this isn't based on popular opinion. It's not, it's not popular and it, it's not an opinion. It's just the reality of the world that we live in. The physics and properties of water include the fact that it seeks and finds its level. It's what it does. So do we need an ice wall to keep the water in? We're, we're at the edge of North America, South Carolina, the Cherry Grove Fishing Pier. Uh, people fishing, enjoying the beauty of this. Uh, that's the uh, Myrtle Beach skyline in the distance. I'm going to zoom in a little bit on that. This will be a YouTube video and also so will the zoomed in version be a YouTube video. I'm not interested in doing a laser test in a tidal area along the ocean. That wouldn't make any sense. Got a, got a drone in the air there. Kind of interesting. People come from all over the world here. Uh, this past year, we've expected to have 20 million guests. It looks like we're well on schedule for that. So seeing is believing. What? What do we see? What do we believe in about what we see? And can we be tricked? I would say absolutely. I've updated my liked video playlist to include and systematically and have at the front end of the playlist videos that I didn't even create. They're just videos I found and share. So I'm going to move over just a wee bit here and show you kind of like the, where the water, show you kind of a balance of what this is. Let you take a look at that. The biggest water level in the world is the ocean that covers the face of the earth. So as I, um, I'll pan on out here just a wee bit, show you what it looks like. Higher is drier and lower is wetter all over the face of the stationary earth. There's a firmament above the earth. It's a structure that separates a lot of water from above, from this water below. We also have the fountains of the deep that uh, God opened up to flood this earth, as well as opening up the, uh, the floodgates of heaven. Okay, so there's a lot of water up there. We're living in a, like a terrarium, as best I can tell. That's the, the biblical proclamation is that we live on a stationary earth with the sun, moon, and stars moving above us. And on my um, Facebook profile, which I've linked in the Moonrise video, <clears throat> you can see the um, the fact that we've got a, I've got a lot of photos there that show the the moon and the sun in uh, many different times of the year. Of course, many different phases of the moon.
I'll zoom in once again and show you what it looks like now. On my earlier video today, I've got the numbers uh, for the when the, exactly, precisely the moon appeared in this location. Can't see the uh, contrast as much now because there's a lot of light around the moon. Okay, earlier this morning, uh, about 45 minutes after moonrise, uh, it's pretty dark. I've got a photo that shows stars. This is recorded with the P1000 with no lens filter. I want all the um, all the light to come in. On a video, the P1000 doesn't uh, isn't able to capture as much light in the in the view uh, around. Like if I'm zoomed in on the stars or the moon, I can show you quite a bit. But as I back on out, the contrast isn't as obvious as what is able to be seen on the photograph. So I featured the photograph and linked a, you know, like a two minute and 16 second video that I posted directly to Facebook and directly to YouTube. There's a lot of censorship going on and uh, I'm exposing the reason for that censorship. They don't want the truth out, or do they? They want some people to present the truth, people like me. Of course, I'm just a whack job crazy guy, right? Yeah, just leveraging worldwide instantaneous portable communications to expose the reality of the world we live in. I love doing it. I'll do it day in and day out. I've done it for years. It's just that I've uh, become aware of more and more as time rolls on. So no matter how many of the conspiracies you actually figure out, we've still got uh, families, single dads, single moms. Um, we've got uh, divorces, widows, widowers, couples. People are reflective off of the water, off the sand, reflective on their lives, past, present, future. That's why I come out here. That's why I do this. One of the themes that you'll find, and I'll zoom in on him right now, he's right on cue, people are searching. They're searching. Searching for gold, searching for diamonds, searching for purpose and meaning and yeah, new life, maybe a new partner. Well, I, I found one. And he's more than a partner, he's my heavenly father, and he took up residence in me and gave me new life. So he took over, I couldn't do it anymore. I never could. I never could. So for those that think, oh, you needed Jesus because you were a drug addict, it's like, okay, okay, wise guy or gal, how are you going to end up when you can't fog a mirror anymore? Where will you spend eternity? when all your money won't buy you anything. I heard Denzel Washington, this is so funny, he was uh, doing one of his famous motivational speeches. I, I featured it on my, um, on my like videos. He says, you'll never see a hearse pulling a U-Haul. Well, I did. <laughs> it was at Rawhide Boys Ranch. And uh, the reason for it is it was, um, it was a salvage dealer that used a U-Haul to uh, be being pulled by a hearse to bring a lot of miscellaneous items home from a sale, an auction. I used to work at Rawhide Boys Ranch in New London, Wisconsin. And in, in the context of that, I met a lot of uh, dealers, of automotive dealers. I met uh, the people that worked for Avery. I believe I even met Stephen Avery. Um, he used that salvage yard used to come to um, uh, Rawhide. I actually met Teresa Halbach. Uh, like, looks like I lost my broadcast. I'm good. Let me uh, reset this. Sorry about that. I think I'm good still. I hope. So I actually uh, met Teresa Halbach uh, shortly before she was murdered by 
uh, Brian, uh, Brandon Dassey and Stephen Avery. How ironic. In fact, the weekend that she was murdered, I believe it was Halloween weekend, and uh, I was going to have her come to our house and take another picture of a vehicle we were selling. And for a while I thought, what would have happened to Teresa if I um, called her to come out that day and take a picture of our Volkswagen diesel station wagon? Would she still be alive? I don't know. But you see, I trust in the sovereignty of God, meaning he's in charge of everything. And he knows, um, he knows what he's doing. So even in the context of her uh, murder, uh, God allowed that. God allows the rise of artificial intelligence to perpetuate a, and perpetrate a false reality on humanity. I'm exposing that. When I, back to uh, meeting Teresa Halbach, I gave her a digital audio Bible merged with, uh, you know, the text as well. It was a MP3 disc. Now I'm able to uh, share God's word to the ends of the earth around the clock, leveraging worldwide uh, social media, worldwide communications, the very system I'm exposing as very dangerous, and it is. Um, artificial intelligence can interrupt the creation and distribution of electricity wherever God allows it, anywhere in the world. Imagine what life would be like without electricity where you live, in your world, in your life. Yeah, so there will be people that will look at my page and say, oh, he's a flat earther, he's a crazy guy, he got nothing for me. Oh, really? Okay. All right. Well, believe whatever you want. Most people do. And that's the irony of all this. By irony and paradox... Uh, largely people believe the lie that they want to believe and God will help them do that. Second Thessalonians chapter 2 says to everybody forever, they refuse to love the truth and so be saved. For this reason God sends them a powerful delusion. Wow. So there you go. That's the reason why some people will uh, find the truth and others will not. But that's part of it. It's not the whole thing. I, I'm not responsible for the results of this. I'm only responsible for the obedience to do what I'm created to do. So one of the other themes out here is fishing. We've got fishermen and women on the pier here and on the beach. So Jesus says to everybody forever, and you may know him as Yeshua, Yahweh, the Alpha and Omega, the Living Word, the Living Water, the Great I Am. Uh, in the book of Revelation, His name is the Word of God. In the beginning was the Word, the Word was with God, and the Word was God. He created everything. Whether you like it and or agree with it or not, it's not based on popular opinion because it's not popular and it's not an opinion. It's the truth. By nature, the truth is divisive. It's just what it is. So there will be people that have their channels exposing the flat earth delusion. Um, they might have uh, tricky, fun names like their science men. Uh, v Michael Vsauce here. Yeah, Vsauce. Vsauce with a whole bunch of deception about that. I message him. I message him. I don't know if he looks at my channel. I don't know how many subs I've got. I've been told by some that see that I've got over 100,000 subscribers. My, my results in my analytics show that I've got like 2,000 or so. It's not even about how many subs I've got. I've got uh, over 40 million views of me personally. Evidently the system and intermingled with the sovereignty of God, saw fit to have millions of people see me and hear what I had to say. Do you feel yourself spinning, wobbling, or gyrating? No, I'm rock solid. The earth doesn't move, fixed stationary level. 
That's the reality of it. We don't have toilet water flying out on people in Australia because of gravity. Well, hello, it's just water seeking its level. You can look up buoyancy, the differences in density and mass. Lighter, uh, heavier than falls, lighter than floats. It's just the way it is. It's the reality. So I've got pages. One of them is called Reality Exposes the Global Lie. Silent Weapons for Quiet Wars. The corrupting of uh, humanity through what's put in the air, the water, the food, uh, personal hygiene products. Uh, you may think flat earthers are crazy. Well, some may be, but I, I certainly know that if, if you believe you live on a spinning water sphere, that you're absolutely deceived about that. And if you're all excited about praising Jesus and going to heaven, uh, you got to make sure you're born again. Because remember, I'm the guy that says, thought I was born again until I actually was. I thought I was born again in 1982 until I actually was in 2014. The bright spot in the middle of the view that I'm going to I'm going to focus in on that. Okay, in the middle of the view, that's where the sun is appearing. It's not a million and a half earth sizes and 92.8 million miles away. That's a freaking lie. And the moon high in the sky, let's uh, zoom in on that, if I can find it. There we go. Earlier today, I showed the percentage, and uh, I've got a photo of it that shows the, the uh, I've labeled it uh, dark side of the moon. Uh, it's pretty light. The moon is self-luminating. It's feminine. The sun is masculine and male, according to scripture. I'm unapologetically biblical. So any moment now, that sun is going to burn through the, the haze, the moisture. We can't see through much water. I've covered uh, boron. Uh, mule team, 20 mule team borax. I would, uh, I'm bathing in it and I put a, a quarter of, uh, of a teaspoon in my gallon of drinking water and a quarter of a teaspoon of uh, baking soda to help kill the body invaders. Body fungus, candida, yeast infections, foot funk, foot fungus. It's all working. I feel great, got a lot of energy, a lot of clarity of thought. Uh, cancer is a fungus. Did you know that? Doctor in uh, Italy injected cancerous tumors with baking soda, killed them deader than a hammer. Did you hear about that on the news? Hear about it on my channel. I've got the video featured on my channel. If it's still up, if the channel is still up. Here we go. There it is. In Joshua 10, God's Word says that He, God, stopped the sun and the moon from moving. Job 37 proclaims to everybody forever that the uh, sun is in uh, the midst of the clouds. Got a lot of video proving that to me and many others. That video of my local sun or our local sun, it's not mine. It's my video of our local sun. I had an opportunity to capture it, and a lot of people shared it. One of the reasons why I zoom in and out is I'm not just showing you the water or the, uh, the light. I'm showing you what it does and how it shoots across the, the, the water there. It's a light beam, like a laser beam. Notice it? Got a lot of video of that.
and I've got different uh, titles. I hashtag a lot of my titles. Uh, Mysterious Sunrise, Mysterious Moonrise. You can see the uh, waves interrupting the light beam there. You can walk, uh, drop your camera down uh, right on the concrete level flat slab and watch somebody walk away. It looks like they're sinking into the slab. There's a lot of video on uh, perspective. If I dropped the lens of this camera down, it would look all different. If I dropped it right off the top of the, right on the top of the water, it would look largely different than this. So today the uh, sun appears to be pretty spherical. Oh well, I don't know exactly the shape of it. I know it puts off a lot of heat, heat and light. I also know that it's the one moving. The sun is moving. We're not revolving, spinning, wobbling, and gyrating. And if you believe you are, you know, you might want to seek immediate help because you're delusional. Yeah, I said it. You're at least deceived. You're, uh, you're believing a delusion. Uh, for this reason, they refuse to love the truth and so be saved. For this reason, God sends them a powerful delusion. So you would be delusional if you believe you live on a spinning water sphere. I've got friends and family that are deceived. Family biologically and, uh, and friends all over the earth. With the uh, interconnectivity of uh, the internet and my social activity on Twitter and, and Facebook and YouTube, I'm interacting with people that are many times deceived about one thing or another. To be intellectually honest, that could be me about something. I'm not deceived about the shape of the earth. I don't know what shape the puddle is that covers the face of the stationary earth. I don't know. I don't need to know about that. You want to know where the edge is? You'll bump into the firmament. At least that's an edge that you can't go through. Is it being guarded by the military? I don't know. It's being guarded by a whole lot of apparently cold and ice, but Argentina is pretty close to uh, the uh, continent of Antarctica or the Arctic Circle, probably the ice wall. But it could be a tropical area, too. We don't know. We've seen, uh, I have never been there. I've seen um, icebergs and uh, ice packs, polar bears and penguins. Where in the heck were they? Were they at the North Pole, South Pole? There's no pole. No poles. There's the center of the Earth where the uh, magnetic north would be, the center. So right now, the uh, light beam shooting across the top of the water should be as obvious as can be. Good morning, Leonard. So one of the reasons why I encourage people to hear God's word is to see what happens. If you believe it's the reality and the truth, then that'd be great news. If you believe it's a fairy tale, not looking so good for you. I have, uh, now that I'm actually born again, here's what I got going on. I've got a uh, passion, a purpose, an eternal perspective, and the power to do what I previously could not do, and the pleasure to enjoy it all, even though a lot of people don't agree with me. Most of the world is deceived, and by irony and paradox, they don't know it. They don't know they're deceived, and to be intellectually honest, we don't know what we don't know, right? That's the way it is.
takes less than a day to hear the entire New Testament. I do it a lot. When I'm awake or asleep, I can't read when I'm sleeping or riding a motorcycle or driving a car too good. So we're all being programmed. How's your programming going? I choose um, healthy programming. I prefer the truth. I have a love for the truth. That was a gift from God. Then the other thing is healthy nutrients. I liquefy spinach, kale, chia seed, hemp hearts, apple cider vinegar, mixed berries, bananas, and anything else I feel like throwing in there. And I'll liquefy it. I don't throw any of it away. I'll drink it and it adds a lot of high-powered nutrients to my body and uh, healthy building blocks for the neurotransmitters. And that, that the, that's part of the renewing of the mind. That's, that's part of what that is. So I've got a healthy brain function, whether you like it or not or agree with that. You might think I'm deceived. Oh, well. You can think and believe whatever apparently you can or want to. So then the other thing is I'm bathing and drinking water. Um, reverse osmosis, carbon filtered, hot water heated up on the stove. And I've got five gallon polycarbonate jugs to store the water in. I'll put in a cup of boron, a cup of baking soda, and a quarter cup of uh, coconut oil. And I drink a quarter cup of coconut oil a day. It's brain food. I don't use commercial uh, personal hygiene products. A mixture of baking soda and coconut oil for uh, antiperspirant or deodorant. Plus I'm deodorizing my whole body. So there you go. This is Robert Forsh with the YouTube channel Truth. If you want stickers like this, you can send a self-addressed stamped envelope to 169 Cloverleaf Drive, Long, South Carolina. 29568. You can call me anytime. Call me whatever you want, whenever you want. 1 843 504 1776. Thank you very much. So I've ended my, um, my broad or my recording with the P1000. I'm about to end this re, uh, broadcast. When I get home, I'll upload a beautiful view of all of this. There's a timeless beauty of the uh, ocean, as far as I'm concerned. I'm reorganizing my liked videos and my YouTube channel. So I want to encourage people to explore the truth, to actually seek the truth with all your heart. The uh, truth is actually hidden in plain sight. It's right in front of you, wherever you live. The truth about everything, basically. We have uh, world. We have access to um, the database of humanity. Uh, basically, a cybernetic collective where we can access basically almost all the information. If you have proper clearances, you can, or if you can hack around and get access to areas that are restricted. I decided to, um, to basically expose the reality of uh, the whole alien deception from here. I didn't want to go to hang around all the fanboys and girls that are embracing a spinning water sphere and visits from Alpha Centauri or wherever they believe Martians or aliens are, are coming from. Uh, it's unlikely that I would be able to persuade anybody right there that's all excited about their big event. So I uh, private messaged the event promoters and sent them my like video playlist and they can explore it if they like to or not. See, a lot of times people have a made up mind, made up on what they believe the truth is. And to be clear, I'm, I'm 
a biblical creationist. I believe that the Bible is God's word. His word is true and all others are suspect. You can explore it if you care to or just scroll on by uh, literally and metaphorically in life. I found the answer in the word of God in the power of the spirit and new life in Christ. So that's why I do this. So thank you so much for your public and private encouragement. I appreciate that. I get calls at any given time of the day or night. People want to ask me questions. Some of my broadcasts and recordings are based on those conversations that I've had with people. There you go. Beautiful, isn't it? I should have tapped my screen earlier. That feature works better with uh, my uh, live broadcast on Facebook than it does on the YouTube app.